Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MacTube. In this video, we are going to learn about the applications of complex integration. So, we are going to use complex integration to evaluate real valued integrals. Yes, you heard it correctly. We are going to evaluate real valued integrals using complex integration. Okay, let's move on to type 1. We are going to learn type 1, type 2, type 3. In type 1, we are going to learn how to evaluate the improper integral polynomial divided by polynomial where the limits are from minus infinity to infinity. Now look at this. You cannot solve any problem that you like with this method. There are a few conditions for convergence. Point number one, the limit should be minus infinity to infinity. And it should be polynomial divided by polynomial. And the degree of the denominator should be at least two more than the numerator. And the denominator should never ever vanish by plugging in any sort of real number. I will give you an example. Imagine the denominator is x square minus 1. Now look at this. If I plug in the number x equal to 1, the denominator will become 0. So the denominator should never ever become 0 when you plug in a real number. For example, if the denominator is x to the power 2 plus 4, you can never ever make this quantity 0 by plugging in a real number. If you want you can plug in 2i. What is 2i the whole square? That will be 4i square and i squared is minus 1 so we will get minus 4. So one last time let's make it very clear. How do you identify type 1? Polynomial by polynomial. Limit should be minus infinity to infinity and the degree of the denominator should be 2 more than numerator and the denominator should never ever vanish when you plug in real numbers. Okay, the method looks pretty simple. So what you do is you delete the given integral and you put integral over c and replace every x with the letter z and c is actually the contour you have to define the contour i think you can see the contour over here it is a semicircle it's a part of the circle mod z equal to r and the x axis from minus r to plus r okay let's start with one problem so that we can understand this properly anyway the logic goes like this integral over this semicircle you can see the semicircle here the real values from minus r to plus r and the semicircle or the part of the circle above the x-axis so this integral will be equal to integral from minus r to r and the portion above the x-axis so let's start with problem number one so please copy the question evaluate integral minus infinity to infinity x square divided by x square plus a square x square plus b square you may have learned such problems in your first year or maybe in your first semester you might have, you might have learned this in improper integrals anyway here we are going to tackle this integral differently so what we do is we are going to delete the original limits and I am going to write consider the integral integral over c z square divided by you can see that integral. So in your examination make sure you write the same stuff. Let it be any problem in type 1. What do you mean by type 1? Polynomial divided by polynomial. Can you see? And the degree of the numerator is 2 here. And the degree of the denominator after multiplication you can see that it is 4. So you can see that the degree of the denominator is at least 
to more than the degree of the numerator that means we can apply this complex integration technique okay and the logic actually goes like this can you see the complex integral here this is minus r to r and this is our x axis and this is the part of the circle mod z equal to r but above the x axis so this integral can be written as minus r to r plus c plus c plus means the portion of the semicircle above the x axis now in examination you have to write like this by cauchy's lemma no need to explain more than this this is more than it because you are learning an application of complex integration so no need to explain too much but you have to write this much by cauchy's lemma if you want you can search um, online about cauchy's lemma and since the convergence condition do you remember i told you the convergence condition degree of numerator should be uh, at least 2 less than the denominator etc etc when r tends to infinity look at this when r tends to infinity this will become our question minus infinity to infinity x square divided by the same stuff and this second integral will vanish that is exactly cauchy's lemma so cauchy's lemma has two use here if you see the portion of a contour above the x axis which is a part of the semi circle then the integral will become zero anyway because of this reason the given integral and this integral are the same okay now that's it now i can just use cauchy's residue theorem i hope you already watched the video in cauchy's wait a minute it's easy to say use cauchy's residue theorem but it's going to take some time so what is the method come on come on come on come on come on tell me first of all we have to find the singularities so what are the singularities singularity means the quantity which will make the denominator zero anyway i solved for the singularities and i got four singularity but look at this we have one advantage our contour is above the x axis and on the x axis from minus r to r but in the beginning itself i told you no value in the x axis can make the denominator zero that is a part of the condition so look at this this is on the contour this is inside the contour because it is above this is not in the contour this is in the contour so you have to now this is good news so don't forget it this is a good news consider only the singularities above the x axis and now it's just residue calculation so let's start okay uh, by the way i wanted you to tell one very important thing there are three methods to calculate residue point number 1 the series method point number 2 the method with which we learned using limits i'm going to apply that now there is one more method that you should know to calculate the residue and it will give you huge advantage and this method can be used only for polynomial by polynomial so if you have polynomial divided by polynomial something like this not polynomial divided by product of polynomial it won't work if you have polynomial by polynomial then the residue can be evaluated using numerator divided by derivative of the denominator we'll come back to that anyway here it is usual residue calculation limit z tends to i a z minus i a multiplied by z square divided by come on so this will be z minus i a z plus i a z square plus b square in case you are confused i'll put it like this the roots of the denominator are z equal to ia and z equal to minus ia 
So this can be factorized like this. Similarly, you can factorize the other part, but we need to cancel only this much. Now plug in this IA and I hope you still remember I square is minus 1. And plugging all these things, we will get minus A square divided by what is IA plus IA, 2 IA multiplied by I square A square, that will be minus A square plus B square. So we are going to get A divided by, because this and this will get cancelled. 2i is outside and this minus goes inside and we will get a square minus b square. Similarly, once more, let me make it like very 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 clear. Type 1 means integral minus infinity to infinity, polynomial by polynomial. The degree of the denominator should be 2 more than the degree of the numerator. And in every problem, the contour will be the semicircle which is above the x-axis and the portion of the x-axis. Anyway, you don't have to consider all the singularities. Consider only the poles which are above the x-axis. Calculate the residue and what is the formula? 2 pi i multiplied by sum of the residues which are above the x-axis. Now look at this. The second one plus, I am putting this plus to specifically tell that I am considering only the singularities above the x-axis. And this will be limit set tends to IB. Um, you can do the calculation by yourself. I did the calculation, I got the answer B divided by 2i B square minus A square. So the value of the integral not the given question, the integral that we created. Integral over C, Z square divided by Z square plus A square, Z square plus B square is equal to 2 pi i multiplied by A divided by 2i into A square minus B square plus B divided by 2i into B square minus A square. And that will be 2 pi i. This 1 by 2 i will come common. And this can be written as what do you do with x minus y if you want to write this as y minus x. Very simple. You have to put minus of. So this will be a by a square minus b square minus b by a square minus b square. Now this 2i and 2i will get cancelled. So pi by a square minus b square into a minus b. And that reduces to pi divided by a minus b times a plus b times a minus b. So that will be pi divided by a plus b. Okay. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll stop this video and we'll continue with another problem. So once more, make it very clear. Type 1 means integral minus infinity to infinity. Polynomial divided by polynomial. And the degree of the denominator will be 2 more than, at least 2 more than the degree of the numerator. And the most important part is, the denominator can never ever become zero in the real axis. And the last thing, we have to consider only the singularities above the x-axis. Now there are three more problems in this type. They are extra important. So I'll be back very soon. So till then my friends, 